Hey everybody, Brian here with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're going to check out Chris Hines' Okta, which is a new instrument, the first instrument, of their new Mega Structure series. So this is a fairly unique library and it boasts 100 instruments, uh, 64 acoustic instruments, 32 carefully selected synths, and 4 percussion sets with 1500 samples. This does require the contact player 6.7.1 or above and will take up about 25 gigabytes of space on your hard drive. And the price of this library is $299. All right, so this is a pretty unique and fairly complex instrument. When we load it up, we have one big NKI file there, which is what I have here. And then we also have some easy instruments. Um, as you can see, they name the instruments here. So we have vibraphone keys and then combinations. So the big thing about this, I think, is the combinations. As you can see, we have eight different layers here, eight channels. So I've just loaded something up and we have three of those channels by default. When I move this over here, you will watch as you can see the mixer there, right here, adjusting. So, So ideally you can select eight different sounds there and blend between them, mix them all using this XY pad over here. So for our channel presets, you know, channel one, channel two, channel three, we can select those from here, which is where the, you know, 100 different 64 acoustic instruments and 32 synths and four percussion sets come from, all these sounds down here. So there's a ton to choose from. Um, it seems to be more focused on as you could hear, we have a lot of kind of struck mallets, plucked instruments. We also have some synths. However, the pads and strings, it's not going to be really realistic orchestral strings. So let's just go in and, and check out a bunch of these sounds because, again, there are a ton here.
Okay, so that was playing through some of the presets of this instrument. I'm not sure exactly uh, what to think about this instrument. It seems like more like they're going for sort of an Omnisphere crowd. Uh, it's got an Omnisphere type sound to it. It doesn't sound much like the deep sampled instruments, like the orchestral instruments I'm used to from Chris Hine. I think maybe this is targeted more towards keyboardists and people who play live and who want more options for combining different sounds within one GUI. Uh, it sounds kind of very 80s to me, uh, most of the sounds do. Anyway, you heard it there for yourself so you can decide whether you like it or not. That was a quick look at Chris Hines' newest library, um, the first of the Mega Structure series, and again it's called Okta. Thank you guys for checking this out with me. I'll see you next time. Let us know your thoughts in the comments.